Hey there, guys, it's Jesse. I'm back again with a, another sort of kind of answering your questions, but questions you haven't even asked yet. I just blew my own mind right there. But uh, Mike and Chris are here with me, and I'm sitting in Meridian right now. But you're going to be seeing like awesome footage of us in expert dungeons kicking ass and taking names and all sorts of stuff. And so, yeah, that's what you see. But right now, I'm just sitting here chilling because we're going to talk about our first impressions of the Rift Expert Dungeon System, and more importantly, uh, if it is awesome or not. Because now we're 50, and that's sort of the thing to do, right? I mean, what else is there to do? They're raids, but we can't do those yet, because we're like in greens and blues, and I guess some purples now. So anyway, I figured we'd start with asking this basic question. Mike, Chris, what are your guys' opinions? of the expert dungeon so far i have my own opinion but uh what do you guys think so far i like them because they're not a pushover it's not like a wow heroic where you can run in all epically geared and just solo it well i guess maybe you can i'm not epically geared yet but it takes some skill and some uh, well some skill at least i don't think a monkey at a keyboard could do it i could be wrong though there are some pretty smart monkeys but i don't know i, I like them so far Healing's a bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm sure there's some elitist jerk out there that's all like, well, what are you talking about? I can solo heal all T2, you know, all day long, blah, blah, blah. I'm so awesome. But I enjoy it. I don't think Chris does, though. You should ask Chris about what happened in his T. His, his, Christopher? His expert. I had, I had a rough evening in the expert zone <laughs> as, as a melee DPS. I actually am currently sitting in Meridian at my cleric trainer, and trying to get a uh, Rift Zam to bring me up some specs on a on a, a ranged cleric DPS for uh, when I'm not tanking, and yeah, it was just it was just painful. Um, my other roommate was calling me uh, seven of thirteen, so that was that was how many dimes I had died uh, on on boss fights tonight. So it was it was painful. Wow, that's like an in insult. It's insulting. But also, it's like a, a Star Trek joke at the yeah, same it's like, time. Yeah, it's like a Borg designation, man. So it's like, a, it's an insulting Star Trek joke, which is even more insulting. Right, because I, I could never be, <sighs> hope to be as hot as Seven of Nine, but... We have just, we have officially <laughs> overly nerded this chat up. We're in the first five minutes, and already people are like, oh, Jesus. What are you talking about? They come here to hear that stuff. They're like, wow, dude, another Star Trek reference. Mace Wind dudes, awesome. The they, sweet Star Wars. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to get the Star Trek and the Star Wars fans fighting. Like, oh, well, an Imperial well, Quest Star Destroyer could take on the USS Enterprise any day. No, you are incorrect. Oh, the Enterprise has put on shield generators. No, well, the oh my god, it would go on all... The chat is not, it's gonna, the comments are gonna have nothing to do with this video. It's gonna be like, no, Captain Kirk, he is so much more cooler. He could use his Vulcan neck pincher for Jew on Darth Vader. Yeah, watch out. Do you realize that you just made everything that much worse because you went through that <laughs> thing? Just like that? It's what I do. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, my opinion when it comes to experts, I am so happy that they're not a pushover. Like, now, I will say that people were complaining that, um, in Cataclysm, the dungeons in WoW Cataclysm are, like, you know, kind of hard. They were harder when you first went to them. And Blizzard was like, yeah, we made them hard. Rift is, like, that level of difficulty, but more so. It's, it, it, it's, it's really hard to explain, but they made it like a gear check. Like, some of the final bosses are straight-up gear checks. There is, there is no, like, um, super hard mechanic about it. It's just, like, one, two swings, you're dead deal with it. And people complained to, to try on. They were like, this isn't fair. You really are not too hard. And try on was like, deal with it, dicks. Boop. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. It's true. It, am I, I'm not even lying. Like that's some of the replies are like, you know what? That's the way we made it. Deal with it. That is awesome. I like the fact that they're like that hard on it. They're like, you know what? Tough. That's the, that's the way it's intended. I honestly think that if people play their roles correctly, they're not that hard. Because when I play a healer, I always seem to have a crap-ass bard in my group that like doesn't realize that, oh, hey, I'm a bard. I'm supposed to be playing bard songs. And, oh, hey, maybe I should throw a cadence in there to heal. I mean, I have bards sitting there picking their asses, and they're like, I don't know why we're dying. It, it, it's a support class. Support. 
that's that's for all you little bards out there that don't know how to play your damn class. If you don't know how to play it, go ahead and roll something else, like or just start a new game, so I never have to run into you because I hate all of you. But moving on from that, that's my little rant about bards. It's really interesting to see that that's the case, but in a way, not. Right? I mean, yes, it's interesting to see. Oh my god! Like someone's opening portals and stuff in the background. I'm trying to do a show here, dicks. All right, anyway, <laughs> god, there's like. Portals and crap, like, All right, anyway, um, what I was trying to say is that it's sort of interesting to see that uh, people have all these options, right? But at the same time, all these options and how they play their characters and how everyone really doesn't know what's going on yet is kind of the reason why raids and things are all over the place. You really, you really can't count on anybody yet. Because there is no set spec. Like right now, Chris, like you said, he's on the Zam webpage trying to figure out a spec. You go there right now and look up a DPS warrior and look for a spec. And trust to believe there are at least that there are four different styles you can go. And then although the four different styles, there are thousands of combinations. And Wait, I, well, I got I got to stop in. I got to jump in there. I agree with you on that. What I'm saying is the person that rolls a 51 point bard and then decides to be a dumbass. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, no. I, and I'm saying I agree. I think that the reason why people people suck at, you know, like, I, I, if I, I went early and I fully 100% theory crafted with, with this other dude. I talked about him in a previous video. We theory crafted out the best thing possible. I mean, we looked at percentages and what did what and what abilities to put points into. I don't think a lot of people are doing that. People are putting stuff into what they think is cool or what will help them, and we aren't at that theory crafting point yet, and there is no like elitist jerks of Rift yet, right? That, that doesn't exist. Other and than me. Yeah. That's true, us. you are that. But there, but there is no like special website where you can go and find the definite information about what does what and what to spec into. That doesn't exist. So right now people are just experimenting and all over the place, and also let's be realistic. There are some noobs out there. That's just the way it is because everyone can get to 50 now. It's not until the raids start and we start seeing people in all purples that we're going to see the, the dividing line between who's actually good and who sucks. And we saw that today. We ran with some guys from this guild called Zephyr, free promotion. Um, and <laughs> seriously, they were amazing. And they are a straight, like, they are N guild. They have gotten a lot of server first on boss kills. And they are really good. And then you run with some other people, just random people out there. I can't even remember names that we've run with in the past. But we can't do Jack. Yeah, I mean, we had a we had a bard roll a need on a on what was it? No, it wasn't a bard. It was a rogue. Or he a rogue. rolled a need on a the tank plate belt. Because and he's like, I thought it was a ring. Sorry, dude. I mean, he didn't even <laughs> look at it. He was like, he was he's like, oh hey, look, purple, shiny, click knee. And they're like, what the hell, asshole? That's a. And they're like, oh. Sorry, dude, I totally didn't know. My bad. That I mean, is awesome. Randy, I mean, just a stupid moment there. I mean, I'm sure it's happened to a lot of people. Well, he had to have two stupid no moments because he would have had to click need and then clicked uh, OK to accept the need. <laughs> That's role. right, because it says, like, do you want to need this? It will bind to your... That's awesome. That guy's a genius. So, yeah, you, I mean, you have people like that. But um, anyway, enough with the theory crafting talk. Let's get back to the actual experts. Uh, for the, the way it works, and I think I'm, if I'm wrong with this, correct me, but the way experts work is there are two tiers of expert dungeons, and then there's the raid after that. Uh, oh, and apparently there are also uh, overworld rift raids, where you have to get select items, and then you can open the rift raid, and then like all these people can join you in killing it. And uh, today, earlier today, I did some... Uh, Raids that were way out near all the the rift raids, or I did some rifts that were near all the rift raids. And the Dragonbone place in Shimmer Sand. Yes, yes, and sh it's crazy that the guys there are just walking around like elite fifties, just walking around like, "Hey, what's up?" One shot. It, it, yeah, so that's tough. But anyway, back to the experts. Um, all the dungeons that are lobby dungeons, like the eighteen uh, Iron Tombs, or uh, the, the 26 dungeon or the 34-ish dungeon, those things, what happens, they become tier 1 expert dungeons, which means those are the first ones you want to do. Um, they're hard, but not super duper hard, even though the Foul Cascade boss 
uh, a few days ago we went there, kicked our ass bad. And well, it's, like, it's but up. I think the thing is, is that we didn't have a good support class because when I play a bard, I mean that that healer that we had was a good healer and said that I was the best bard they've ever played with, and that's why they kept, you know, that's why they play with us today. Also, I don't think we had a good bard because we went through that today with you, me, and Chris, and those two. I mean, the only difference were those two, and we stomped it. That's, I mean, that's true, and I think what I'm going to do, it, it, but it was also our first time there, and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to post that video and unedited, and just let people <laughs> see, I know, and just Can let people see. Can you at least take see. out the part where I get all grumpy and want to rage quit? I yeah, mean, for those of you who are going to watch this, the, the video, and I'm not going to edit any of it, the last 20 or so minutes is like dead silent, and us, and then eventually fight. us like losing it. Like, the, the last 20 minutes of the raid was horrific. And eventually we're like, screw this! This fucking thing is stupid! I, oh, is it bad? We're like, this doesn't even make any sense! This is so we, we, the last boss kicked our ass. And then today we went in there and it was like one shot dead. I mean, the, I think the, the thing that really annoyed me the most about that the other night was we, we worked through every other boss, we figured out the strat, we, you know, we, we pushed through it, not a problem. You know, we died a few times, you know, sometimes we didn't die, but we figured it out. And then we just died on that queen over and over and over again. It's it's like they put her in a different level, you know. Like all of a sudden she started hitting the tank for two k a smack. I couldn't cleanse and keep up with all the healing myself. I mean everybody was like it. It, it just went insane. It wasn't fun then. It, it turned into it wasn't even challenging. It was just stupid. But then the funny thing is, is we come back and what's I mean it was so aggravating and hard. Then we come back in there today, and. We beat it, one shot it, yeah. And they definitely didn't nerf it. Like there was no patch notes on a nerf. It had to do with group comp and competent players, I think. I mean, <laughs> competent players goes back to uh, PVPing and having defiant, not understand what to do in a PVP. That's true. That's a whole other issue. I might, I might post that uh, PVP video in the future here, just for the <laughs> fact of my awesome kills at the end. I'm like, I'm a killer, son. I'm a killer. Yeah. It, uh, Get ready, because for once in my life, I was actually good at PvP and was just owning guys. But uh, I won't show you the three ones we did before that where Mike and I got killed repeatedly. Those oh. have been stricken oh. from the record. But the last one, the last battle we did, I will show all of that and brag. So that's what happens when you can edit and show, pick what you show on your own channel. <laughs> so I am an epic uh, PvPer. Keep that in mind. Um, anyway... <laughs> One of the things that I think is interesting is healing and tanking in the uh, expert dungeons. And since Chris was not only a tank, but also DPS, I want to know which he thinks is, is harder, and uh, if tanking at all is difficult. Because I know tonight, we learned that a lot of the fights are not melee friendly. Like, they really make you want to go ranged. Well, they, they're making me go ranged. <laughs> 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 so I mean yeah it's it's tough it's tough uh, I I really don't know what to say other than that I mean melee melee DPS sucks it sucks now, it will make you hate the expert dungeon you're now, gonna hold on. you're gonna want to not it clarification here it's not the damage that sucks melee DPS damage is actually really good yeah it's, yeah, yeah it's the bosses are it's designed just, to beat dealer. the crap out of you. Yeah, and that's exactly what they do. I mean, they chew you up and they just shit you out. <laughs> I mean, that's all it is. You know, there's there's an AE that's hitting you. You know, there, there, like there's a mob that like does an AE from the front. It does an AE from the side. Then it drops down this ring that you can barely see. And, you know, you just die. And meanwhile, all the range guys are just sitting back there plinking arrows or casting whatever, just standing there. <laughs> I mean, it's it sucks, man. I mean, you need and and it's not just it's not just me like not being able to deal with it in a sense that like I refuse to. It's just that I was more of a hindrance in, in some of the boss fights than I was a help. So I need to basically have a range spec for when I go up against those specific uh, types of fights, so I can be more versatile and be able to help out. You missed a really good chance to fraps him dying. He got a battle res. Uh, he died in one of the, the ground circles. Like, it was really hard to see. 
he died, <laughs> battle rezzed him, and as soon as he came up, a circle appeared right there, and he died again. So he died twice in like 10 seconds. He was very unhappy. It was quite funny. I, I, I think that's a, a weird thing, too. There's actually two things that you brought up that I think are interesting that are probably complaints I have. One, the, the, the damage they do, like the um, AoEs or the uh, uh, like area effects, they have little things that they put down before it goes off, or they have things that warn you, but the the visibility of those is so limited. Like uh, on, on that uh, boss right before the spider one we were talking about, the big uh, earth guy, there are fireballs that fall from the sky while you do that battle, but, and they put, like, a red uh, little, like, orb circle on the ground. But it's, like, a thin line you can barely see. And because you're paying so much attention to the boss, and the boss is red, and the ground is, like, moving and stuff because it's got, like, the Zerg creep ooze on the ground, right? It's hard to tell where the thing lands, and then just, boom, it goes off. Right? And that's a pain in the ass. And then uh, another thing you were saying that I think Chris just brought up, the fact that... It seems like 99% of the damage the bosses do is in melee range. I don't think, like, half the bosses we did had anything that shoots uh, uh, ranged characters at all. Like, I'm, tr I'm trying to think back. Like, there's one where the chick bounces around the room, and she st what she drops is she drops barrels that explode, but you have to be within melee range to get hit by the barrels. There's uh, that bird that flies and, and does, like, a... Um, the, the, the attack that's AoE, but you have to run out, so that's melee. Um, there's Well, in Lantern's Hook, you have the uh, Pyromancer, whatever, uh, Pyromancer, whatever. He, uh, he basically hits you randomly. I mean, it's mostly on the tank, but there's still some range that the uh, final guy in Lantern's Hook, he will turn around and plink you with a fireball or two. But as, as for the most part, yeah, it's all about just smacking around melee it, it, it's it's kind of stupid i guess maybe that's to make uh, as chris's point in a previous video make um the dps not so lazy because if they have to keep awake the entire time they can't just spam buttons i, it's I mean it, it's hard yeah i wouldn't say it's hard i'd say it's challenging i guess that's what i would say so um you guys have done uh, pretty much every single one so far. What would you say is your favorite tier one dungeon? Well, we've only done tier ones. I went into right, tier right, two tier with one. a group, and we wiped on the first pull. Then we wiped at like three percent. Like we only did like three percent damage to the first boss, and we wiped on that. No, I know. I, I may say I may have said this before, but if I didn't, tier two dungeons are basically those dungeons that you can do normal at level fifty. So I think there are two of them. And AP those are the and CC. Yeah, That's, those are like the one is ITKB, um, FC, and LH. So whatever else is left, I guess yeah. what AP and CC. That's it. Yeah, and so those are the there are two the 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 Caldera and the Peak, whatever the hell that is. And basically those those two are the like you, you those are the level fifty normal ones. And so basically they up the the difficulty even harder than the the tier one experts. And so basically it's like mini raids. And I, I have not done any of those yet. But out of the tier ones, what would you say is your favorite? And give me a reason. Mike, go. Uh, I don't know. KB's fun because what it's What is KB different. again? Uh, King's Breach or whatever it was. It's the one with the earth ripped inside. And it's all like, ah, oh, we're going to yeah, the hold back guys, the, the dead the guys and war, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Then you kill them and all the dead guys. You know, they have to go kill the dead guys. Right. I like that for the expert because the final boss is in this room of death, basically. There's spikes that pop up, like, every three seconds. I mean, Chris lasted about 15 seconds in that one. That was pretty funny. We were making so bets So it's like that. the dance in, uh, uh, what, Nax, basically. Oh, yeah, but it's, it could be anything popping up at any time. Like, the walls <laughs> even shoot spikes out. Like, it'll give you a brief little white light that spawns up, but it's like, oh, hey, like, I'm about to shoot spikes at you, so move. I mean, Chris thought those were the spikes, so he was just running around in circles, screaming, going, how the hell do I do this? It was <laughs> like, pretty constantly, good. yeah, it was, it was horrible. <laughs> um, I, I really like that encounter. I thought it was a lot of fun. Like, once you figured it out, I mean, the first time we were in there, everybody's like, have we done this before? And they're all like, no, 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 no. And we had some, some guy that didn't speak English as, you know, his primary language trying to explain it. And the only <laughs> thing he kept saying is, tank boss here, uh, die. 
and he'd run over and he'd pull the boss and he'd die. And we're like, what the hell does that mean? And he'd like, tank boss here, die. And he'd run over and he'd die again. And we're like, is he a freaking lemming? Like, we didn't understand what the hell he was doing. And so we're, try- <laughs> we're trying to watch YouTube videos and he turns into a bard and he's like, Ronin DPS, I bard. And then he's like, tank boss here, die. And he runs over and dies again. And we're like, oh my god. Like, this guy just wouldn't quit dying. Like, it, it was actually pretty it's funny. A- he, he's telling you what he's doing. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's what we finally figured out, you know. So we watched a YouTube video, and it's like, oh, okay, well, we're going to do it this way. And he's like, no, no, tank boss here, die, go, go. Tank boss here, die, go, go. And we just basically didn't ignore him. And, and we basically ignored him. We figured it out. But, like, I just really liked the event. I mean, it was it's a lot of fun. And plus, I got to see Chris die and get really, really pissed off about it. So, I mean, that was when he had, like, you know, that died at every boss for the last couple of bosses episode <laughs> and so i mean that that totally made it enjoyable for me other than that i uh i like i like the extra bosses and the experts you know that you don't get in the normal dungeons those are a lot of fun because they're different they're new and there's actually some thought put into them as opposed to just tank and spank tank and spank tank and spank chris so. what would your favorite be um Honestly, I like the idea of, of, of the same dungeon uh, Mike was talking about. The, I mean, the, the fight with the spice coming out of the floor, really, it, it looked pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, I, I died. I got my ass kicked. <laughs> I, mean, I, thought, I thought the light that was shooting out was like, as the precursor was, uh, were the spikes. So, you know, and basically, basically all night, I get like a five second rundown every fight. And then they're like, okay, go. And then I die. And they're like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. And I'm like, <laughs> Great, uh, and they're like, well, and and I mean, the, I guess the best part of the whole night was the, the the last fight that we went in on, and the guy in the groups explained the fight, and he's like, okay, so you guys are gonna need to stand here, and the mob's gonna throw a bunch of fire everywhere. So uh, if you stand here, you're okay. If you're melee DPS, it's cool to just die and lay there in the fire. And I'm just <laughs> like, I'm just like, well, that's the strat, and so I just switched over to my healer spec, which just got tossed to the wind tonight <laughs> and stood up on the rail with everybody else and just plinked the mob for like 80 damage but you know what I bastard didn't get me that time so <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a pretty good night of Chris dying I, I really did enjoy it it was great <laughs> alright well <laughs> I think that's it for our initial reactions of expert dungeons in Rift and as you've seen in the background, uh, there's just some bosses that we've killed and some of the things we've done. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to post all of our awesome... Well, I guess maybe today. It depends on when this gets uploaded. I'm going to post all of our awesome um, run of our very first expert ever. And I hope you enjoy because, yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. Was Chris with us for that expert? I don't even remember. No, I, I did the expert the night before with uh, another group. And our tank didn't. But the last, have but the one toughness. that we did of Foul Cascade was Chris with us. Yeah, he was. Uh, weren't you with us, Chris? Foul Cascade. When oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, <laughs> we wasted all the money just to go and die quick. So yeah, much Yeah, that's what I remember it. because at the very end, oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna have to cut out of that. At the oh, very yeah. end, we decided to respec, and it was such a waste. It was a waste <laughs> of platinum. It was so pointless. It was horrible. Are you kidding me? That was, yeah. It was horrible. Well, no, th- what you don't know about Jesse is that Mike and I were fighting about that again today. And I was like, I was like, I told you, I was like, that was a waste of plat. It was a waste of time, and it was a waste of my life. He's like, it's not a waste. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, we didn't know if we could do it that way. And I was like, and we couldn't. And he's like, yeah. And now we know. And I'm like, are you serious? I think that's good logic. We didn't know if we could do it, and now we do. It was a wa- it was a waste of about two hours of our life at the end there. Yes. Absolutely. That's that's ridiculous. We were just like, if we keep trying, maybe we'll get it. We never got it below 80%. Like, it just didn't happen. We're like, <laughs> if we keep trying. Oh, my God. They're like, let's switch specs. Oh, wait. You need to. You all need to go. The guy's like, you need to go ranged. And so everyone goes ranged. And, and we, we don't do any damage. Because and get, Chris couldn't yeah, figure and out. Like, and they're like, Chris, Chris, you need to heal. And I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out <laughs> literally 50 abilities. To heal. I mean, <laughs> as as a brief sign-off note, while we've been talking, I've been running a non-expert uh, LH, and you know, 
it's it's so simple. Like what was once a tough fight for me is now the easiest thing in the world because of healing experts. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and I guess that's where we will stop. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Mike is an expert. Chris died a lot. And I have not had nearly enough time to play. That's what this week has been so far. And um, again, we'll post that video. And you guys will get to laugh at our miserable failures. But you'll also learn something, hopefully. And eventually here we'll post actual some real guides on how to do these bosses. And I think that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up all that garbage, and as always, to be continued.